the stronger the challenge, the better the response. Welcome to the Strawberry Seals. Welcome everybody. Boy, Mirage, can you believe this is the second season of this? Huh? It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, three more seasons and we can go syndication. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's been a few days uh, since the Scott Valley meet, but as you look back, what do you take away from that? I know they didn't finish on the right side of the score of the Seals, but what do you take away from that to apply moving forward? For me, 270 best times was in my book, a victory for our team. You Did know, you think it was a typo when you saw that? What, 270? <laughs> I, I, was, I was surprised, yeah. but with the number of uh, you know, kids I had coming to me and telling me they had best times, the number I saw you know, comparing our heat sheets to the yeah. results on the board, um, I wasn't that surprised because it, it seemed like the kids were on a real high and their minds were focused yeah. uh, in the right place. You know, they were all just trying to get better, and that's what it's all about. When you look at that, you say, oh. That's, that's coaching there. <laughs> I, <laughs> I wish I could take credit for that. That's the kids. You know, we have uh, we have a lot of kids on this team, and how they do will be more determined by you know how much they put into it. Uh, you know, we can we can facilitate their improvement by giving them tips and you know trying to organize good practices. But in the end, it's really up to the, the athlete themselves to you know extract what they can from what we're teaching and to apply it day in day out at practice in order to get those best times. You want each swimmer to obviously maximize their potential, but you want them to be technically sound. You want them to learn how to swim the right way, which begs the question, again, I mean, we might have gotten into it last year. Uh, would you like the fastest guy to get end to end, or would you want the most technically sound guy from end to end? Well, so in, in the long term, those are one and the same. Okay. So in, in the short term, a lot of times kids can, uh, kind of spin their wheels mm -hmm. and swim more aggressively and sometimes go faster. But, you know, it'll be at the expense of building the proper habits that will allow them to be, you know, to reach their potential in the long term. So, you know, I, I want ultimately the kids just to swim well and to try to use the things they've learned. Uh, you know, sometimes when a kid is changing the way they swim, you don't see it immediately in their times. And it, it can actually slow a kid down in the short term, mm -hmm. but in the long run, producing you know, the correct habits will contribute to, you know, them reaching their potential as a swimmer. Well, as we begin to start to wrap things up, let's look ahead. We're, uh, it's, it's a road meet this week. Uh, this week, the Seals take their act up to uh, San Anselmo, and it's Sleepy Hollow. So uh, kind of forecast that. Maybe uh, share with us, if you want, one or two thoughts that you will instill in practice to get ready for the Sea Lions. So we spend the front half of the season doing a lot of drill work, mm -hmm. trying to give kids fundamentals of you know, proper kicking and build their strokes from, from kind of the feet up. Mm -hmm. uh, last week and this week, we've been focused more on race strategy um, and how to use your arms as part of the stroke. So we're gonna continue to emphasize those things, do a lot more diving, and we've been working on turns on a daily basis. So we wanna start polishing other aspects of the stroke getting them to use their arms correctly um, in each stroke and trying to work their edges so that they're, you know, they're doing good starts and good turns. Good stuff, good stuff, Coach. Hey, well, that is for the first edition of the In the Deep End Show with Coach Barat. Thanks so much for watching. Always keep practicing, and let's get ready for those sleepy hollow sea lions, huh? We'll see you next time. And keep it tuned right here on strawberryseals.com.